Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Ulta haul slash try on. I purchased quite a few makeup products from Ulta and I figured I would just do like a haul slash first impression again slash try on haul I guess you could say. So I tried on some of these things for you guys and I really hope you enjoy this kind of style of a haul. I didn't get a ton of things but I figured this would be a fun way to kind of showcase everything. So. Yeah, let's get started. The first thing I did not try on for you guys, I have mentioned these before and I never can find them in Ulta ever. It's like once in a blue moon that I can find them and I finally got them. They're the number 126 lashes from Allure. I love these so much. I think they're such gorgeous lashes and I used to talk about them all the time, but I haven't talked about them in a while because I just haven't been able to find them. So so happy I got both of the ones that I saw. Okay, so the next thing I'm really excited about, I've never tried this before, but I've heard really great things about it, and it's the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Mask, and it just says it's an anti-aging treatment with pure 24 karat gold, and it says the gold helps lift and firm, you glow, blah, 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 brightens, smooth, and refreshes, and... Yeah, I'm just really intrigued by this product and I haven't tried it. Like I said, I've heard so many good things about this, but I've just never tried it. So I hope it's good. I'm hoping it's really good. <laughs> I will definitely let you guys know. So this is the Dolce Dolce & Gabbana Rosa Excelsa. I didn't realize I got the like tiniest bottle ever, but I really like this perfume. It smells so good. I'm just... Oh, I'm in love with it. It's the perfect rose scent. I tried a different one in my Sephora haul, um, and I did not like that floral scent, but this one is definitely right on my alley. So this is just going to be chilling back there with everyone else. And I didn't, I didn't realize the bottle was so small. Okay, and then the last thing I wasn't able to try on, but I have used this before and I really do like it. I've just, I lost it and I can't find it. It's the Saint Tropez Bronzing Face Lotion. It's non-pore blocking and this does really give you a nice self-tan to your face. If you self-tan your body and you're like me and you don't want to touch your face with just the body self-tanner, I would definitely recommend a facial one. This one from Saint Tropez is definitely one of my favorites because it does not bring me out and it gives a nice warm glow to your skin. Like you could use it two nights in a row. I use it right before I go to bed like after I cleanse my face and everything. My face is really nice and tan and it stays pretty tan for a long period of time so I really like this product. I even take it with me when I'm traveling just so I can kind of bronze up the skin and make myself look like I'm glowing and kind of healthier, you know? Okay, the next thing I got, I took it out of the packaging because I did try it on for you guys, but it is this Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, and it's just this pinky toned corrector, and I really like it. I think it definitely does brighten up the under eyes. I have been using this NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector thing, which is more salmon-y. It's basically like the same ordeal, but I do feel like the Becca one brightens a little bit more. This one's the Becca, this one's the NYX one. The Becca one does brighten a little bit more, but I feel like I like the consistency of the NYX one better because it's not as creamy. Um, it's a little bit more dry, which for me, like with concealers and stuff, when it comes to pot concealers, I need more of that dry consistency. I know most people are like, why would you want a drier corrector? Um, but I just like it because I feel like everything blends so much easier. It doesn't make me extra oily or anything like that. So I do like this so far. I like how it really brightens up underneath my eyes. But I also like the NYX one as well and I kind of like this NYX one a little bit better. But they both do a really great job and I'm still going to try this one out and update you guys. So keep on the lookout for this in my next Hits and Misses video and I will definitely tell you if I kept using it or not. This product I tried in the video and it is going back. <laughs> I did not like this at all. This is the Laura Geller Baked Radiance Cream Concealer in Light. And I just have one of those, it's just one of those things with these pot concealers. It's so hard for me to find one that I really love because most of them are super creamy. And with me and my oily skin and my larger pores, it just doesn't work out. Like it ends up looking so bad. And that's exactly what happened with this. I even put it down like the center of my nose and it just looked so bad. It started to break up. And I have to go run some errands today and I was like, I cannot go out looking like this. So I had to take it off completely. I felt like it looked cakey and I felt like it sank into my pores as well and this is a pretty thick concealer it reminds me of the Anastasia concealers if you've ever dipped your fingers into that this is exactly what that feels like and that the Anastasia ones did not work for me either and this one just didn't work I think I'm just gonna quit going for the pot concealers because they just look so bad on my skin and I hate working with them so 
that is definitely going back. I mean, maybe if you have more dry skin, you might like it. But for me, this was definitely a no-go. But the one thing I loved after I fixed my makeup and put new concealer on, Ulta Pressed Setting Powder, and I loved setting my under eyes with this. This is, of course, in the shade Banana. When I was in Ulta, they had a little tester out, and I dipped my finger into it, and I was like, wow, this is so smooth. And it is. It's a really smooth powder, and it just, like, melts into the skin. It is amazing and I love it for underneath the eyes because it brightens but also sets that area really flawlessly and makes it look smooth and airbrushed. I feel like this is like a hidden gem in Ulta. I feel like this is even smoother than the NYX HD finishing powder. Like the texture is a lot smoother so I would definitely try this out if you are interested. I don't know if it's cheaper than the NYX one but it's definitely more affordable than most banana powders. <laughs> Okay, the next thing I tried out is from the brand Revolution, and I've never seen this brand before. I just randomly saw it when I was in Ulta in the drugstore section, and this is the matte blush, and it's in the shade Nude, and in the demo, you'll see, once I put it on, I was like, hell yes, this is my kind of color. It's a matte blush. It's a very gorgeous, like, warm pink neutral. I mean, it is stunning. It is such a soft blush. It looks beautiful on the skin. Has a little hint of mauve in there. This is my kind of blush. Like this is a perfect everyday blush for me. And this was only six dollars. And this is like a huge pan. A little bit of this blush does go a really long way and it blends out so well. So I'm gonna have to check out more of these blushes. I don't remember how many other shades they had, but this is awesome. And another thing that I got from that brand that I'm really liking is this Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. This is in the shade Golden Lights. If you don't like gold highlighters, you are not going to like this. This is definitely more of that white gold kind of highlighter, but I really like it. This is the only one that they had in stock. They had a couple others that I didn't get to see because they didn't have them in, but I like it. It feels a little dry when you touch it, but it has such amazing color payoff. Like, look at that highlight. It is so pigmented and it just glows. It is beautiful. So I'm really impressed by this as well. Again, it's from that Revolution brand. The only thing I don't like about packaging like this is the letters kind of rub off really easily. So that kind of sucks. But I do like this. So far, this brand is great. I need to go pick up the eyeshadows now because... Those are awesome. And then the last thing that I got, which is I think is really interesting. I don't know if I'm going to use this as like a setting powder or a highlighter. I don't quite know yet. But when I was playing with it, I really loved the finish of it. And it's this Laura Geller Filter Finish Setting Powder in Universal. Okay, it's really hard to get open. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ugh, okay. It just has that mosaic of like the purples and the salmons and the greens and all that. But this is, I feel like if you have dry skin and you want that glow, this would be perfect to set your makeup with. For me, I'm thinking more on the highlighter side. Um, I'll probably just use this as a highlighter because it does give you a really nice glow. But I feel like if you want to set your face and have that gorgeous glow, I think you would love this. I would even use it as a blush topper, anything like that. I did throw it over my blush today, but I didn't realize that this was going to be so intense. So you can't really tell a difference with this product. Um, but I'm really excited to keep trying it out and try it as a highlighter. I will keep you guys updated on how I like it. Okay, guys, so that is it for this Ulta try-on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below letting me know if you've tried any of these products and how you like them. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.